are running Echo, they are running Rise. All these things are going to require a little bit more setup and slightly smarter positioning. Hashtag CW win, hashtag H2K win. Will CW pick up their third win of the split or will H2... So he can go for the gank later. Oh, hang on. He's with an early... Oh, the hook! The death sentence connects! Kasing Kaching! He's got the flash, he's got the heal. Can he get the first blood? Boomerang Still Blade flashes. doesn't connect. Hyanu with the rocket. Flash forward. One more! Ooh. It's secured by Erdawabne. And Hyanu with a greedy flash doesn't secure. Oh. He gets knocked into Katawa. Kasing gets another one. Hyanu's going to get an assist. Young Buck. Working out that spot. HDK looks to be securing that tower in a moment or two. Did actually catch a glimpse there of Soren's Jace. He's got flash cleanse. I'm just gonna highlight that rework Jace. The longer put manages to pick that okay. one up. Flame is lame. We but do freeze see is alone in the bot lane. He freeze is getting dope. Teleport comes up from Young Buck. I think it is too late. Kasing's gonna eat two tower shots. One. Freeze is down. Yannick gets out two. of the turret range. Lulex is now tanking the turret up. Yannick's looking for more. Lulex gets away. We did see summoner heal used. Yannick! One beautiful one. juggle by... We'll talk about in a moment or two. Ryu's about to get jumped on. Parallel convergence. The batter swings. The batter hits. The batter stuns. And Unlimited's here to punish. Ryu goes down. He holds his flash. That's tied. They'll punish you on the other. Kasing. You have got to be kidding me. Kasing catches Freeze. He's going to 90 caliber net away, but they're going to set their sights on a limit. Sniped. Seeking. AOX. Can he steal? Can he go spend scary? He's setting up. Ryu knows. He's, he's ready with the hex. Well, Dragon's oh. not going to get secured. Smite did come down by Copenhagen Wolves in week one. Well, I remember you talking about them in week one, about how they froze lanes and ended up costing them objectives. Parallel Convergence not going to connect on H2K. They're going to keep pushing it. Death sentence, but it is cleansed from Soren. Super Mega Death Rocket flies wide. Doesn't matter though, because Lulex gets in with a furious bite. One. And it's going to set them up with the match against Fnatic to challenge for first. And I want to quickly quote what Lulex said yeah. right at the top of the show. At the end of that, Fnatic vs. Origin. The Shock Blast connecting low onto John and Tower is down to 20%. Kasing, death sentence, is not going to connect, coming. but he's going to follow it through. He's going to flay Sora and the box connects as well. Unlimited, going to have to pop that unbreakable will as Lulex gets knocked backwards. The Mega Death Rocket gets one more and Kasing connects with another death sentence. Yonan with a double kill, turns onto Freeze as Ryu got his first one of the game. Oduwamne, he wants to join the kill party. Four members of the Wolves are down, and H2K set their sights at the inhibitor turrets. And eventually they spring the trap. Ryu from the left, Oduwamne from the right. They take down everybody on Copenhagen Wolves' side, except for Aerox maybe. And then take down the mid tower, take down the mid tower. H2K, they're in the Baron pit, they've got Super's middle. Look at the vision though. Oduwamne on Dragon, this is so safe. Yeah, look at the amount of brushes that the Wolves will have to face check to even get to the Baron. And then what? They die. They're very reminiscent of the game they played against Gambit last week. It was just comes in trying to defend. Good turret juggling, dies again. Well, so ever since, it's gain a big, big lead. Airwax now. Down! Oh, gonna need a couple of <laughs> ultimates to dash back in time. Lulex takes him out. So while that was going on, we did see a tower. Oh, he's canceling the bases. He's this going is to big. cancel the bases. H2K now on the top inhibitor turret. Yarnin with a three man mega death rocket. They get him. They get Young Buck. Eats a hook once more. Kasing! He's put on the aimbot for this battle. And he set his sights on the Nexus turret. So to one there, he's teleported in 26 and a half minutes. Unlimited pops the unbreakable world. Kasing is getting chunked out by the acceleration blast, but it's not going to be enough. Unbreakable world wears out. Oh, to one there, Kasing and Lulek run him down. Kianen <laughs> gets the kill with the help of Ryu. It's not about the KDA. About the message. And with this victory, H2K will be holding on to second place in the summer split. They set themselves up with a match of the week battle against Fnatic next week. And what a phenomenal performance from H2K from start to finish. Karen said it. Kasim. Every time, if you ask him, why are you performing so well? What is what changed with H2K? Kasim. And it seems to work. Forgiven rate of him, number one carry by Hyar. And showing H2K comfortable building a composition around him in the Jinx.
But at the same time, usually when you see this 180 carry, you know, hyper carry composition, all the attention goes towards that. But it doesn't, because even though Ryu plays utility, he provides what he has to do. You know, he goes to the bot lane, he split pushes, and then in the times he still in the in the mid fights, he still provides that utility. Oduwamne, he's a tank, he's the peel, but he gets so far ahead that he can build frozen.